a lot of people asked me what I thought for recommendations. And I, I came up with a proposal that I feel that doesn't uh, affect the students. Um, I think what, what my proposal would be is that um, the original uh, amount that was asked for was $1,125,000. And you have an amount of money of 513. I would suggest su subtracting that. The 513 from the 1,125,000, you come up with $612,000. And I'd say that would be my suggestion for the Board of Ed budget. Now, how it doesn't hurt the kids is that originally when that budget was, was formed, uh, there were only two known um, retirees for the Board of Education. Since then, there's at least four more. So you could save money on the salaries line item. And then, um, and this is a, something that's discussed all the time at my meeting, is, is uh, legal fees, um, and I understand you need to hire and use the best attorneys you can for a lot of your issues, especially those concerning special ed and that sort of thing, but I think when you have issues such as uh, sus school suspensions and that sort of thing, you can hire lo uh, local lawyers at a lot less uh, cost. Um, I pay $160 an hour for my town hall, or for the town uh, attorneys, and I think that probably within a 15 mile radius you could probably find attorneys to do that. So, uh, money out of the salaries uh, line item, out of legal fees, and you know, cut it down to six hundred twelve thousand, which is a ninety thousand dollar cut. That, that's the only cuts that I would propose. And uh, like I said, they are taken from line items that don't affect the kids. And I know we can't tell you how to, what line items take your your stuff from. That's that's uh, board of ed's business. But those that would be my suggestion. So, okay. If anybody got any questions? I. I Glad to answer just before I go back. Uh, any board members have any questions at the first lesson? Did you consult with anyone at the board in regards to your proposal and what the exact figures and what that would mean? No, I don't. No, I don't. But I know that you know. I mean, it just looking at if if you've got four more retirees at, and you're, they're going out at say eighty thousand dollars and you're hiring four at forty thousand dollars. You're saving forty thousand right there, not mentioning benefits. That's one hundred sixty thousand dollars. I mean, that ninety falls within that without hurting anything. One, that's a little bit of a steep estimate, and two, each one of those teachers need to be replaced, and we've already been cut over four hundred thousand dollars, and we're just we're hanging on by our our fingernails, and we've had two zeros in a row, and we're still operating on the same amount that we did in 0809. We have not received a penny in two years, and we, we've been caught below our level services budget. And some of those positions in the Ed Jobs money are, are positions that we absolutely need. How are we going to fund the Spanish program at the middle school? We need another teacher there. How are we going to meet the requirements of the college system, putting a tech ed teacher at the high school? So. You know, that really, you know, it, it's an easy answer, but it's not a correct answer. Um, you know, what we already have been cut is devastating to our budget, and we still have to go back and find the $400,000 to find a hun another 160000 or 90000 or whatever you said it is, it is close to impossible, uh, and it will hurt kids. Everything we do, everything we cut hurts kids. So, you know, I respectfully disagree, Paul. Um, you know. Uh, my opinion was asked, and that was, that was given mine. Thank you. Anybody else? 